so welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a really really quick video. I was actually in the middle of editing a video and I was replying to some comments when I got the idea to film this um, so it shouldn't be very long but I'm going to show you guys how I on the end of some of my videos I have that like really smooth sweep um, like a video going over the uh, like going as like a detail kind of shot and a lot of people have asked me how I get that so smooth so I'm gonna quickly show you all how I do that it's really easy I just use an effect in um, Adobe Premiere Pro so I'm gonna go ahead and create a test um, like a little test test project so let's name this smooth video okay so what you're gonna do is Create a project in uh, Premiere Pro that all of your work and everything is going to be in and have it freeze up on you. Do, do, do. There we go. All right, so you've got your project. So obviously you want to go ahead and import the media that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of um, the clips that I have used in the past. All right, so I imported my movie file, video file, into the project, and I just used my point, Canon point and shoot, which I currently am not in possession of because I lost it at Comic Con. Um, but that's what I usually use to film these, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it over here to create a sequence, which means I can edit it. And if I scrub through, you can kind of see there's a bunch of different shots of me trying to get the motion that I want and I try to get as smooth of a motion as I can to start with um, but there's usually quite a bit of faffing about at the beginning trying to figure things out um, but this right here looks like we might have something so let's play it and take a look yeah this is this is good to work with so as you can see I've got somewhat of a smooth motion but it's still kind of stopping and starting quite a bit um, and I try to one of the things that helps me keep it smooth is I kind of um, brace my camera arm with my other arm as I'm moving the camera upwards. Um, but it's still hard to to get a perfectly smooth movement. Um, in fact, I would I would venture to say that it's next to impossible to get a perfectly smooth movement with just your hand. Um, so that's where Premiere comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out this little section right here. So this is the movement that I want and we're gonna play it again. So as you can see it's kind of a little jolty. Those parts where it suddenly seems to skip back a few frames that's just Premiere being slow it's not actually the video. Alright so to make this smooth we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use an effect called the warp stabilizer. So I just go to effects and I type in warp and it's right here. And I'm going to double click on that and it will apply it to your to your clip. And it'll say analyzing in background set one of two. And over here are all of the settings that you can edit to mess with it. Now I generally keep the settings exactly the way they are. They work really well for me. But there's a bunch that you can play around with. So you want it to have smooth motion. Um, if you change it to no motion that's going to do something different. Um, I don't know what this means, so I keep it as it is. Um, and then smooth just, smoothness just increases the amount of smoothness that you want. 50%, um, 100%, 0%. 50% is the default, and it tends to work pretty well for me. So I just set it like that in case it's still not smooth enough, then I can increase increase the, the smoothness. Um, it also has like a borders option, which is for when it's stabilizing it, the edges like it has to rotate the frames and stuff like that so the things are perfectly smooth and the edges can sometimes do weird things I keep it as stabilized crop and auto scale which is the default but there's a bunch of different ones you can do so if you click stabilize only then you'll kind of have little weird edges stabilize and crop will do different things um, I think synthesize edges kind of like blurs the edges I'm not really sure like I said I keep it on the defaults um, and then there's uh, even more settings over here that you can play with so I'm going to go ahead and let this run, and then we will come back, and I will show you uh, what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, so I'm back. It hasn't been very long. It's only been a couple minutes. This is a pretty short clip, and this um, doesn't tend to take too long to apply the effect. And if you go ahead and play it, it should be a lot smoother. Look how smooth and pretty that is. It's like 
a lovely little pan effect. And again, any times where it just jolts backwards, that's just because my computer sucks. So that is how I go, how I stabilize and smooth out my clips. So if any of you all want to do that, then you now know how to do it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick little mini tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys! Working from a reference photo is before I get started I like to actually draw over the photo with a different color to break it down into simple shapes. What this allows me to do is just kind of really understand what's happening in the reference